ordered just yesterday. Super good. On cue today. Pancakes from 7-Eleven. I'm soft. Mm. This entire restaurant is matcha. We have matcha flights, matcha desserts, matcha drinks. So excited for this. Good soba. Like cold soba, that place was good. But Brent and I had a dish that also really did not like. But I think it was more traditional Japanese. This is our little haul for dinner. The sushi tray actually looks delicious. These omasumis I actually quite enjoy. There's also the hot bar that has fried chicken that's really good. Great sandwiches. This is gonna be for dessert, our favorite. My sister actually texted me and told me to bring some of these home for her. And then these are the best frozen fruits that they have. Good haul. And they're really good. Yeah. The apple mango, they're so sweet. Mm -hmm. It's actually mine and Brandon's last day in Tokyo. We're headed to Kyoto tomorrow. Yesterday's main goal was to get some clothing for Brooklyn and we probably got like five outfits and I got a dress for her to wear to the wedding as well. So I'm excited about that. But today Brandon and I headed out to Ginza. It's an area that we haven't really explored yet. how to add the Pasmo card to our Apple wallet so it's easier. In your wallet, you can choose which one you want. 
and you're out of balance, and then you can use it. But the cheapest way would show your passport at the airport and get the passport yeah. card. So get but it at this the is this is just easy. Where are we going? A little lunch, fuel up, and then we're gonna go, go, go. That's the queue. We're not that committed. We're going somewhere else. <laughs> This place is good if you can't get in at the other spot. The broth is really good. Second floor. Stationery store, 12 levels. It's crazy. to Shibuya Sky. Our reservation was actually yesterday, so we're going to see if they can change our reservation, but this is pretty late for us to be here yet. Tax-free line can be very long, but they got it down to a science. It's about 15 minutes to get through the line. Now we're headed to dinner. What was our original plan? Shibuya Sky was great. It was closed. If we would have gotten. And our reservation was for yesterday. <laughs> Ah, how sad. It's okay. I got all of my tax-free beauty goods because all the pharmacies are open super late. Before we left, we started packing up our luggage and we're gonna have it sent off to the airport. I read online the airport can store luggages for up to two weeks and sometimes it can take up to two days to arrive. So Brian and I are gonna drop it off to get shipped before we head out to Kyoto for a couple of days. One last thing to bring with us to Kyoto, huh? We. We could find everything to just one luggage, so that's all we're taking with us to Kyoto. And we're off. We're gonna go catch the train. We heard that there's a good food court down below with a good bento box, so we're gonna grab that for lunch. Brandon got us some bento boxes. As soon as you walk in, this is the entryway. And we booked this hotel because the design was just so pretty. Brandon found this place. And then you walk into the bathroom. Look at this tub. Shower, it's kind of exposed to got these beautiful windows. and I explored one of the temples. We were able to catch it right before sunset and it was still quite busy, but it was so pretty. You notice in Kyoto, it's definitely a little bit quieter. So I think we're gonna grab dinner right now and then head to bed early so we can wake up.
Gabriel and I made it out a little bit later than we expected. It's now 9. You saw part one of our Tokyo vlog. I lost my road mic, so we went up to Yodobashi to pick up a new one. Here she is. But we're headed to go see some of the tourist spots because this is our first time in Kyoto. We got here around 10, 10, 15. And there's definitely lots of pockets where there's no people. You don't have to come here that crazy early. But if you did, it would probably be easier. But it's manageable if you get a late start. Field trip. about getting coffee. Yeah, no. We don't want it that bad. Mm, not that bad. <laughs> just had a cute little bento box style lunch. It was lots of little dishes. I feel like it was kind of a traditional Japanese meal, but we're headed to the train station. It's a little bit more confusing out here taking the train, but still very doable. And we're headed to another touristy spot. It's kind of like a famous street. The bamboo forest is really funny. I mean, really pretty. <laughs> what? Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello friends, we are back at home. I wanted to show you a matcha haul. Low risk of losing my mic while we're in our hotel. So it was funny because today Brian and I were walking around and I literally said the only thing I have yet to buy is matcha. Brian and I ended up buying tickets to go straight to the airport from Kyoto tomorrow. So it's just gonna take three and a half hours. Probably cost Brian and I just over a hundred dollars each. And we've been here now for over a week, almost two weeks. What was your favorite part of this trip so far, honey? Morning, walkabouts through the towns. Definitely would come back. Yeah, we've decided we're coming back in the fall. <laughs> Our last hotel would not recommend. We stayed at the Mitsui. It's kind of like a Hilton, but I feel like there's cuter, more boutique hotels that we, I would probably rather stay at. We are gonna go to bed. We actually did ship two luggages to the airport, so we will meet our luggages, but it was $30. So I would highly recommend shipping your luggage to the airport ahead of time because it's very reliable and all that. So we have a train ride in the morning. We'll catch up 
we'll tell you some more travel tips and some of the apps that we've been using that has helped our trip go a lot smoother. Ciao. hall before the train. Got it. Hello friends, we made it to the airport. Two trains later. Kind of chaotic on the transfer. Give yourself time if it's your first time for sure. We were able to pick up our luggage with no issues. There's lots of food here at the airport. But get your bento boxes before you come in here. Before you get into security because once you get in, it's mainly like hot food. We're able to find some sushi, which we will try on the plane, but the bento boxes are definitely better before you get through. Brand and I also use an eSIM card service this time because normally we do some sort of like Wi-Fi rental. So we use an app called Aerolo. I'll pop it up on the screen, but Brand and I each bought 10 gigabytes. It costs us $10 each normally when we do an international data service. Our phone company Companies will charge us like $10 a day or you can do like a Wi-Fi hub rental but it's nice just to have everything automatically on your phone highly recommend this app when we go back to Italy for the wedding we'll probably use this instead of buying a sim card or Wi-Fi rental we did get to the airport three hours early and the time flew by we're about to board our flight we have a 10-hour flight back to LAX so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you watch part one if you haven't already love you guys thanks for watching see you bye sayonara we'll see you soon Japan Back on the Nile River. Look at this wild beast. We are in Africa on the Nile River. Just joking, we are not in Africa. We are in Kyoto. Christine's getting ready. Hey, I'm a narrator. The silence is eerie.